Good afternoon guys and happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. Um, my dad was actually home from work today so we ended up going to Walgreens, Meyer, Valley Produce, Caputo's and back to Walgreens and we had to make a quick pit stop at CVS um, to pick up prescriptions. So we ended up, like I said, sort of all over the place. I went to two different Walgreens um, to get one of the deals and then do the other one. But um, anyways, at each store, other than the last Walgreens, we ended up spending under 20 bucks at every store except Meyer, I think was like 21 something so um, in total we were like well under 80 bucks for everything um, and then again I just have um, I think we're gonna go on Monday to um, Aldi and to Jewel which again shouldn't be that much either so I think this will be one of the weeks where we don't have too much stuff to get um, so anyways, I will share all the deals with you guys though, but that was nice that we got all of the shopping done early today. We ended up sort of at a different Meijer too, so there was two deals that I didn't really find or didn't see, and I'll explain that when I get to the Meijer haul. Um, and one deal that sort of didn't end up working. It looks like everything else at all the other stores came up at the right price and stuff. <clears throat> But, um, the, like I said, we ended up at a different Meyer because it was closer to, like, the Valley Produce, Caputo's, and all that stuff that we were shopping at, um, instead of, like, literally going the opposite direction to the other store that we normally have been shopping at. But, again, we're probably going to be going to that one. It's just, we're not going, like, you know, it just worked out better today to do all that because, again, my dad does have to work over the weekend. So, um, like, Saturday and Sunday. So, we don't have to worry about anything, like I said, until Monday when we wind up going, um, to, uh, like I said, Jewel into Aldi. So I'll share the deals with you guys to start off with. So right here, this was what I ended up picking up these three things from Walgreens. There wasn't really too much going on, but I did find this deal. I thought it was really good on these probiotics that I'm actually out of. So I went ahead and picked these up. Um, but I had my mystery offer um, was when you spent $20, you got a $5 Walgreens cash back. So I ended up um, needing to get my total up to $20 pre-manufacturer coupons but post Walgreens coupons and Walgreens cash so I was able to do that with this deal and then also too um, I ended up um, earning back that $10 Walgreens cash which was when you spent $15 in three transactions um, like through uh, the start of May up until the 15th, I believe, um, you would get a $10 Walgreens cash back. So each time that I did the transaction, I told you guys I added 333 basically because that's about, you know, if you take 10 divided by three, that's about what it winds up coming out to. Um, so I figured that into each of those transactions that I did last week um, because I ended up spending over $15 both on Saturday and also on the, the haul I did on Thursday. Um, so, like I said, this was the final one where I just needed to be over 15 bucks, and then I'd earn that $10 back. So I earned the whole $10 back in this transaction, but like I said, I've added $3.33 to each transaction um, as I've been sharing it with you guys. So, in total, for these items that are right here, they would have been uh, like $49.34. We paid uh, $16.74. Um, plus, too, I also rounded up um, like my Walgreens, like the red, red nose donation. So, actually, um, it was like 70 something cents, I think, or 77 cents was the donation. So, um, I ended up like, again, these actual items um, minus the donation would have been $15.97. I said, saved $32.60. I used $10 in Walgreens cash. Again, I got back $19.25, but like I said, that was the full $10. So in reality, again, if I divided that each by, like I said, that three, uh, 33, it was $12.58 that I earned back. So my net cost was uh, $14.16. Again, subtract the $0.77 cent for the donation was $13.39, um, which again, I do not think is too bad because this is normally really, really expensive. Um, but I still ended up working the deal totally out to be um, cheaper as a net cost than um, and even out of pocket really than what um, like I can get at Walmart or Amazon for the actual cultural brand. Um, most of the other ones, um, like even the generic kind, the actual like 
probiotic stuff that's in there. This is like the 10 billion. Um, and the one I think I was taking was maybe 15 or something like that. I think the highest is like 20. Um, and so this one, though, a lot of the ones that they have that are cheaper are less than that. They're like five or two. So like I said, I thought that this was um, a little bit better than, again, what I could possibly get at some of those other stores. But that is um, normal price, $37.99. Like I said, it's expensive. It wasn't actually on sale, but there is a $10 Walgreens um, like store coupon. So that takes it down to uh, $26 or $27.99. I also had a $6 manufacturer coupon. I took that down to $21.99 um, to pay out of pocket, which like I said, was actually a better deal. But with all of the, you know, I also earned back the $5 if I would have just bought this. So even again, subtracting that, that's still under 20 bucks for that. That's, you know, like 16 or something like that, which is still actually a really great price for 50, the 50 count of these. Um, and then also too, like I said, in that I normally wind up taking these anyway. Um, so that's why it was something I was out of. So I would have had to pay and bought it somewhere. So again, I didn't think it was too bad of a deal being able to, like I said, work all of my scenarios out and everything like that. Then with the Colgate, this is the same deal that we get a lot of times. They're on sale for $3.99. There's a $4 off two manufacturer coupons. So you pay $3.98 and get $4 back in Walgreens cash for buying two, making them completely free. So already that was free. I just basically, like I said, my, you know, what I paid for, my net cost and all that kind of stuff was really just for that. Um, so, and I used $10 in Walgreens cash to cover that. So, like I said, my out of pocket still was under 20 bucks, which like buying one of these, like I probably would have spent about $20 anyway, like on Amazon or at Walmart or whatever. Um, for again, either this brand or sometimes even the generic brand is around 20 bucks for some of these. So, um, like I said, it sort of depends on exactly what you're looking for and the count and all that kind of stuff but again I thought that was actually a pretty good deal also to my mom is painting something right now that's why this is all out here so then over here to Meyer, this is what we ended up picking up from over there the items right here would have cost $36.11 I paid $21.02 um, now one of the items this pizza um, actually I realized the four meat kind was not included in the sale but the coupon still worked it was actually only 40 cents more and I'll explain that to you guys the deal that was going on with it but this was actually the only kind that they had they didn't have any of the cheese or the other kinds or whatever so this is why this didn't end up bringing up at the 4.99 sale price it was actually 5.39 um so like i said it was 40 cents more so this would have been in total 20 dollars and 62 cents plus tax that i paid had that come up at the right price um and i saved 15.09 now there were two deals that i couldn't find one was on the and like i said we ended up going to a different store so maybe they had them at the other store because that's where i made the list based off of you know it said it was in stock and everything like that but I couldn't find it at this store so it just might have been that they didn't carry it um, but with the everything I forget exactly the brand but it was like the everything those bagel bite crisp sort of things you know for more like appetizers I looked they had like an appetizer chip section we also looked down all the like chips and cracker aisles and stuff like that I couldn't find it anywhere but their normal price I think a dollar or two seventy nine and there was a dollar off coupon so it would have made it seventy a dollar seventy nine which I still thought was a really great price or maybe they were one forty nine something like that but either way it was like a little under two bucks um and like compared to even Aldi price that's pretty good so I was gonna pick up one of those but I couldn't find that and then also too they had the Oscar Mayer hot dogs on sale but um they were supposed to be well they're normally I think just for the like regular kind two dollars and like 39 cents I think but they're on sale buy one get one free so that makes those like a dollar 20 which isn't too bad of a price for like the hot dogs normally anything right around a buck is normally a pretty good deal um, and especially for like Oscar Mayer brand. So I was going to pick up two of those just again since it is grilling season. We use up hot dogs, you know, all that kind of stuff. But they only had tagged the like um, more expensive ones that were like $4.39 and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't wind up picking that up either. I wasn't actually sure that that was included in the sale then just because like I said, the tags didn't say that. So the deals that I did wind up doing, first one, like I was saying with the um, pizza that didn't wind up coming up, like I said, at the right price. Now it might have been the fact that this was um you know like I said the uh the 
like three meat or four meats kind and that wasn't included in the sale it could have just been that it didn't ring up i didn't double check this the like tag or the sticker or whatever i just saw that these were in that general area so they were 5.39 there was a dollar off coupon which made it 4.39 they were supposed to be in sale for 4.99 with a dollar off coupon making it 3.99 which again for i have sort of you know like um more expensive brand pizzas and stuff like that i can sort of expect and know what to pay um this one i consider one of the little bit more expensive of pizzas and so anything normally under like four bucks I consider you know four dollars or less to be pretty good for again the more expensive brands um like these I think are normally like eight bucks or more at, um jewel so I like I said I thought that that was pretty decent price um but like I said for some reason again the four meats kind didn't come up then also to this ready whip zero sugar that is um normal price um two dollars and 69 cents there's a dollar off coupon making it a dollar 69 which is really nice that way my mom can try this out um and see if she likes that because we normally get the like you know normal kind of Aldi so I went ahead and picked that up. Then also to the Meyer um, like liners, those are normal price four dollars and twenty nine cents. There was a dollar off coupon making them three dollars twenty nine cents. Now again, I was like comparing to Walmart's price what I can sometimes get these for, um, and even like with you know coupons and stuff like that at like. Um, jewel or even regular price at Walmart there was none that were cheaper per liner than um, this deal at Meyer, so I went ahead and picked that up as well um, and then they had the Meyer cheeses so I picked up one of the Mexican four cheese and then also two packages of the mozzarella like slices now slices are I felt like this was a really good deal for the slices sometimes shredded cheese I can get a little bit cheaper on sale five for three when you buy three so they're like 166 each which is a pretty good price this again we just use for like tacos or whatever and so I don't normally buy big bags of that I always buy those big bags of the mozzarella or the cheddar cheese just because that is cheaper and then again too a lot of times these we don't see included in the sale it's normally either just bricks or shredded so I went ahead and picked these up so that when we do um like the chicken patties I have these because last time I made these just the other night I realized I didn't have any so I went ahead and picked up two packages of those then the ice cream the Fairlife ice cream um this was actually on sale it was normally three uh six it's on sale for $2.69 and there's a $2 off coupon so it's just $0.69. Cents. I got this for myself. I have a couple deals on ice cream that I'm going to get for everybody else at Jewel um, but I picked that up because it is lactose free. And then lastly we picked up the Dr. Pepper which was on sale for $3.99. Um, normally I think they're like more than that because it says in total they would have been $13.18 normal price but they're on sale like I said $3.99 and there was a $2 off two coupon when you buy two so those are only $2.99 each that's an amazing price I have not seen that cheap of a deal on pop in forever like probably it's been over like a good two I want to say close to two years maybe <laughs> um, that I've seen a sale where it's under three dollars for pop normally it's just a little over like 333 or so um so again i thought that was a really good deal um, so that was everything we ended up picking up at Meyer. And right over here at Valley Produce, we didn't have too much to pick up. Um, they didn't have too many sales going on. We ended up spending $16.95 after tax. So we picked up, as you guys can see there, the Eckridge Ham Off the Bone was on sale for $3.99. We got three-fourths pound for $2.95, um, or yeah, $2.95. And then the Sara Lee Oven um like turkey breast we got about a half pound at 5.99 a pound so that was 3.49 or 3.41 and then the Orlando Lakes American cheese was on sale for 4.49 a pound we got about a half pound for 2.25 the avocados were on sale for a dollar and 29 cents I think that's the same price as Meyer but like Caputo's had them $1.99. Sometimes Aldi has them a little bit more money and it's hit or miss whether or not I can find them at Aldi. Sometimes they don't have them. So I just went ahead and picked these up for a tad bit over $5 for four of them. And then also to the cherries they had on sale for uh, $2.78 a pound. We got just a little bit over a pound for $2.89 for those. So like I said, not much going on over at Valley Produce, but I did wind up picking these up and I was also able to scan my card so that again, I can get this transaction to count towards, I think it's $500 if you spend you get a five dollar off coupon or something like that at 400 i have to double check what that is but every time that you basically shop you get money you know your transactions your out-of-pocket costs 
counts towards what you wind up, um, you know, like spending, then you wind up earning like a small dollars off coupon, which is pretty nice. So like I said, I ended up picking up those items at Valley Produce. And the same thing over here at Caputo's, I scanned that again as well. I think I'm like a little over a hundred dollars that I've um, counted, like almost 115. Um, and for Caputo's, it's $200 if you spend you get a $5 off coupon so um, this was in total we ended up spending $18.68 with tax um, and we ended up spending about or saving about $8.49 now that's not completely true because sometimes like with the produce they'll retail more money but they don't always have like exactly what they wind up um, like the you know like the out of season sale um, you know again like if watermelon in the middle of winter probably costs way more money to get than what they wind up costing when they're you know at on sale in you know retail price in the summer um so like those kind of things so again probably saved a little bit more money but for one thing I ended up picking up was these La Bella Roma um, organic pastas they had on sale for $1.50, which isn't the best, but around a buck for pasta isn't too bad. And organic for an extra 50 cents I didn't think was too bad. Um, so I picked up the linguine. I wanted to do like shrimp scampi sort of. Um, so I ended up picking up four boxes of these because I've got two two pound bags. So I wanted to do four of those in total. I also picked up extra shrimp. These were on sale for um, $4.99 for the um, like the raw shrimp uh, for one pound which is a really good price normally anything under five bucks for shrimp a pound is pretty good um so i went ahead and picked that up that will be probably for my mom i'll set that aside so that she can use if she wants to um and like i said i have the other frozen shrimp outside um, and then also too, they had this advertised as one of their sales. They had like Seven Up and um, the um, like uh, the Dr Pepper products on sale for five dollars for. Um, for four and then there was a coupon though again scan my card and it took 26 cents off so it was 99 cents um and this was like a limit of one you could buy one of these so i went ahead and picked that up because again i didn't think it was too bad and i haven't had a coupon work yet because i told you guys how i got the wrong size on those grapes before and last week their coupon wasn't available for like they had a deal on ice cream or something like that so i didn't wind up doing that deal but i was able to do this i saw you know the coupon worked all that kind of stuff really awesome so I got that just for 99 cents. The watermelon was on sale for 3.99. I picked up one of those. I also picked up the seedless cucumber for 50 cents. Um, lettuce was actually on sale. It wasn't advertised, but it was on sale for 99 cents. So I picked up one of those. And the broccoli was on sale for 99 cents a pound. We got a little under that at 82 cents. So that was everything we picked up at Caputo's. And then lastly, we ended up back over at a different um, Walgreens. These items, um, we ended up picking up five of the Cheez-Its. These are on sale for um, four or for five dollars for five or a dollar each. Um, they're actually, it says normally they're two dollars and 49 cents, but then when the sale comes up, like, you know, if you buy more, if you buy five, then they're two dollars each. But with the sale, they're only a dollar each. Because of what it says I saved, they, like I said, consider that retailing at um instead at two dollars each so these would have cost me ten dollars in total i paid a dollar and 89 cents now i didn't realize when we got to the store you know it asked like oh the donation for the red nose because the system was taking a minute to process it because i used a register award um i said oh yeah round up thinking like oh it'd be like 50 cents or something like that it was 98 cents because with tax it was only two cents for tax so we ended up paying only a dollar and two cents but then i rounded up for 89 cents for tax because like I said I did that over in that transaction for the 77 cents which wasn't that big of a deal um but because it was taking so long in the system I was like oh sure just you know round up or whatever so anyways it was actually like without the donation it was just a dollar I paid out of pocket and saved nine dollars I did use a four dollar register award though that was from last week so my net cost was just five dollars for these which again I don't think is that bad these are super convenient my mom can just throw these like in her little lunch box when she goes for work um, and also too, I was telling you guys like per ounce size, this is really good. Like even buying the big bulk size, these actually work out to be sort of a better price than what you can buy the big bulk kind for even like at Walmart. Um, just because like I said of the sale and everything. So I went ahead and picked these up again. Um, and like I said, I just did that so I could use that register award because I don't know if the problem that again, I told you guys I was having like last week when I did it twice was, um, the register awards and also using digital coupons at the same time. So I saw this deal and I was like, 
I'm just gonna do that so I just pay a dollar out of pocket basically for this and then but you know with <laughs> with the donation it was two bucks but um <clears throat> You know, like I said, just using that so that I don't have to worry about the system taking forever if I threw it in with that stuff and then also used a $5 or the $4 register award. So I wanted to just check to see. Again, I had no problem in that transaction with the stuff, you know, like coming off or running slow with the, the um, system or anything like that. This one also too, it just took a couple seconds when I scanned the, you know, the guy scanned the register award. But again, I don't, I think that the problem is, is when you use the digital coupons and try and redeem the register awards, then it has like problems and it takes forever. Ever. so I'm gonna try and avoid that again if I can I'm gonna try and avoid unless it's a great deal like getting the register awards um, and you know doing register award deals but um, like I said if I can I will you know use those um, in a transaction where I'm not redeeming any coupons digital coupons or anything like that so I don't have that problem of the computer system taking forever to you know like I said load it was just it was crazy we're standing there for like a good five or more minutes at each time when we went on Thursday and Saturday of last week so that's just a little like I said little deal I ended up doing there and I didn't think it was too bad because again this is food this is stuff that we'll actually eat you know toothpaste we wind up getting so many deals on that kind of stuff but again food kind of things snacks and all that is pretty good deal so anyways guys um a long story short like i said all the stuff we ended up doing i'm just happy that we were done there wasn't that many deals going on really at any of the stores this week um you know again i had to sort of you know like i said find a couple things here and there at each store um i mean we didn't have to go if there weren't good deals but again i felt like it was all pretty good deals um, as to what I, like I said, what I found. But anyways, you know, like I said, just we have two stores to go to on Monday. I don't have to worry about that. We got it done early today too. It is blazing hot outside again though today. So I don't think we're going to do anything outside. But um, I'm just happy to be done with, like I said, all the deals earlier um, in the day today. And I don't have to worry about it, you know, since my dad's home today. So now it's sort of, you know, just relax, whatever, get to the other things. But I didn't like edit yet. I haven't done dishes. I haven't done laundry. I haven't like gotten to any of those things yet today. So that's what I'm gonna go and do now, probably while, like while I eat and you know get all the stuff put away. But at least all of this is done too, and I don't have to worry. Like on Monday, it should be actually pretty quick because we don't have to do Meyer, we don't have to do an extra Walgreens. Like you know, it took us a good chunk of time today, but we were actually because again we didn't have too much to get done pretty quickly today. So anyways. Thought I'd just share that all with you guys. Um, and now, like I said, I definitely got to get some of the stuff all put away now. Well, guys, I'm going to get to bed now. Um, I was able to actually still, even though, again, we sort of changed things up from how we normally do it. My morning was a little weird. Um, I was still able to pretty much get to everything normally. It was just, again, like I was happy to get the grocery shopping out of the way early because, again, it took less time. We are able to get it done. And, like, all the grocery stores, too, like, including Meyer, we went to two Walgreens you know again had to stop at CVS all that kind of stuff still in pretty much as much time as it would take us on a normal Friday afternoon because it's normally busy I'm um, sorry now Friday Thursday afternoon just because it's normally busy um and like traffic all that kind of stuff so we were able to pretty much like I said sort of you know move quickly through the grocery stores and all of that today which was really nice again I was still able to get then all of my normal things that I normally do like during the day like I said editing and uploading and doing dishes laundry all that kind of stuff I was able to do all of that in the afternoon and get all of those things done so that's what I really ended up working on um you know like I said for most of the afternoon today um but I'm gonna like I said take a shower and get to bed it is still so hot guys it's really ridiculous <laughs> um I'm gonna turn the air conditioning down just a little bit because I couldn't sleep at all again last night um so um, like we had the air conditioner, the air conditioning like turned down like about two degrees like yesterday. Um, and so then it, we turned it up the back up during the day because it seems like it's hotter at night. So I'm going to turn it back down before I go to bed tonight. So it's nice and cool. Um, so anyways, though, I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshine faces tomorrow. So bye guys.